so today we are going to paint some butterflies so we will start with the first one so first one going to be transparent I will draw some basic structure so as this one is the transparent one all the four wings should be clearly visible Take your time to draw this structure and little body and antenna. So we have four wings. We will paint front two wings with the grey color, grey color, and back two wings with the light green color. So I will paint first wing with light grey and let it rest for some time. I will make sure this one is uh, pretty dry so that I will uh, paint second wing. So meanwhile we will start with the second butterfly. I think I want second wing to be little bigger than the first one so I will rub a little bit and make it little bigger that's fine now gray color is pretty dry now we will paint second wing so I'm going to give this wing a little greener touch to this so I'm going to paint this with light green color and keep it rest for some time. So this step is very important so make sure you are not uh, hurry to paint all these wings. And uh, I have washed second butterfly wings with the water and I'm adding black color into it. We are using wet on wet technique to paint all these butterfly so that we will get a velvety look. All butterfly wings uh, look little velvety so we need that kind of look. So I will also paint third wings as well. So third wing would be grey one. So, so I will paint third wing with the grey color and I will again switch back to the second butterfly. Again, I am using same process. I am painting. Uh, I am using again black color. So second butterfly is little interesting, and this one is my favorite one. And uh, this one is little unique and not common. Actually, both first one is not common butterfly. As you can see the color is little spreading and that is what we want so don't worry about that I am purposefully doing it so that we will uh, get some uh, texture around uh, those rings. I am adding some yellow color into it. And let's paint fourth wing. As we as you can see, we can see all four wings clearly. So I'm quite happy with the first butterfly as of now. I'm adding little color to the second butterfly. Now I am going to paint edges of 
uh, all four wings so i am using little darker shade of gray color for front two wings and little darker shade of green color for back two wings and i am painting it with fine brush and uh, covering all the edges area i am also adding little texture uh, to the wing so that it will look like net kind of thing I am almost done with uh, these two butterflies just here and there little small things fine legs and uh, I think we are done with these two and let's move with the third butterfly I am simultaneously going to paint third and the fourth butterfly and these two butterfly are opaque one so these are not transparent or white and uh, the third one is like full of black with little hint of green color and uh, the fourth one is full of pink color with little hint of black so basically these two are almost common but with little different in shape and size and color I am using same wet on wet process and this is very easy process to paint these butterflies if you are a beginner I think you should try this butterfly it's very easy process So I'm not thinking too much. I'm just adding uh, black color here and there, and I'm just leaving some part uh, with uh, leaving some white area in between. And as you can see for the corner I have used dark black and for the uh, other areas I have used light gray kind of uh, color so that I can use green color over to that. We need to give some rest to this one and this is not still finished but uh, we need to keep it rest for some time so let's uh, paint fourth butterfly and we will go back to the third one and uh, finish that one later. I am adding black color in the edges and in between I am not thinking too much about what kind of shape I want uh, uh, in the wings
now switch back to the third one and i am using green color and i am covering all the wings with the green color including black area so it will give you little velvety effect and same process we will going to do with the fourth one as well with the pink color before doing this process make sure your black color is not wet let's start with the fifth one so i'm using yellow color so basically i'm going to paint this with orange uh, color so i'm going to give this orange effect but for now i'm painting this with yellow color and keep it rest for some time now let's move to the sixth one so sixth one is like pretty interesting so i'm going to uh, this one is like like more of transparent but not fully transparent uh, it gonna be opaque as well so for the lower wings i'm using two color so i'm uh, adding light green color color and i'll mix uh, little pink color to that but i will going to mix green and pink I'm using orange color. Give some random shape. let it rest for some time and uh, wash with clean water and uh, some yellow color now i am adding some black texture into it uh, so you need fine brush to make this pattern you can use big brush as well if you have control in your hand we can paint these butterfly with different methods but i think this one is the easiest one all these process are very easy to follow 
and i'm almost done with all six butterflies thank you so much for watching do let me know if you have any feedback for me thank you